Fear of being cheated on. Catherine needs to talk with her partner and soon. Otherwise, Catherine's relationship will continue to have problems unless she finds a way to deal with it. I mean, you are in a relationship with the ghost. So that could probably have something to do with why you're feeling uncertain in your relationship. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethman and we are back today for some more 100 baby challenge with our matriarch, Catherine, who has had at this point six sets of twins. In our last episode, we had the most recent set of twins age up into toddlers who also happen to be werewolves. And we had our oldest move out. So we do have an opening, open space in the house for Catherine to get pregnant again. And that is going to be like the first order of business today is going to be an attempt to get Catherine pregnant again. Now, our plan has been to collect a cult. And we had planned on having a baby with Paka'a Ua, but Paka'a died. And now Paka'a is a ghost. So I don't know if that's going to work because Paka'a is now a ghost. Now I did go in and do some like looking around to see and there is another mermaid who is alive and we may summon that mermaid and have Catherine work on romancing that, that mermaid for our next baby donor. The other possibility is we had started romancing Apollo Araka and have a little bit of a romance bar happening with him. So that's always a possibility. And it looks like the sink broke and someone ate some of the cake. So, okay, that's not, not really off to the start that we want it to have. So we might go see if we can hunt down that mermaid and get pregnant with that mermaid's child after Catherine repairs the sink. Now our other twins, so we, we currently have three sets of twins in the house. The oldest set of twins, Brody and Jen, are not close to being teenagers at all. So they still have some work to do through elementary school and as their child age to become teenagers. The middle set of twins are that are toddlers, so the oldest set that's toddlers, still has some work to do on their skills, but getting, definitely getting closer. Actually, we're just, I don't think they have to go potty. We're just going to make them go potty anyway. And then the final set, Trevor and Autumn just became toddlers, so they have lots to do. But as I said, first order of business is going to be getting Catherine pregnant with baby number 14. After just doing a little bit of research, we discovered that there is a mermaid living in Henford on Bagley. And that is Nalani. And so we're going to head over to Nalani's house and try to have Catherine meet her. We're like stalking the mer people <laughs> at this point, trying to find one for Catherine to have a baby with. Because I'm really pretty certain that I can't have a baby with a ghost. Oh, say, okay, see right here. Here is Nalani. And we're going to come and do a flirty introduction with Nalani. Nalani is a really pretty sim, so I'm excited about the baby potential here. Uh-oh, but that didn't look like that was a good first impression with them. Okay, let's do... Catherine, like, seriously. Okay, let's get to know Nalani a little bit. We we're already in a suggestive conversation. That was fast. Okay. They don't need... Oh, this is, like, the worst possible outcome at all. Like, it could not get worse than this. Catherine thinks Nalani is unattractive and a nature maniac, and Nalani views Catherine as an anti-crush. But you know what? We're gonna prevail and see if we can actually make this happen. Because they've already got, like, flirtatious stuff showing up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's just see where we can go from here. Goodness gracious. I mean, for their negative first impressions and the unattractive thing... Things are moving kind of quickly between them. So I guess, I mean, that's good. Hey, well, we are here talking to Nalani. Odin has reached level three of the potty skill. So we love to see that. Catherine, you just met Nalani and you're already over here playing in her bathtub. Don't do that. That's kind of rude and awkward and weird. Nalani has a son named Orion. I don't know who the father of her child is, but Nalani already has a kid. 
Interesting, though. So throughout the conversation, Catherine got the impression that Nalani finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. So clearly it doesn't seem to matter that Catherine isn't attracted to Nalani or that she was Nalani's anti-crush. Things are moving forward quite well. I mean, Nalani is giving Catherine flowers. They're kissing. It's a steamy exchange. Every Nalani's really flirty. All right, we can now try for pregnancy with Nalani. So we're going to we're going to go for it. Have Catherine and Nalani woohoo and see if Oh, I don't want to have a child right now. Oh, but I want to have a child right now. I don't care if you don't want to have a child right now. That's that doesn't matter to me. We're so, okay, come on. Let's go woohoo. We got a woohoo. And I like hurry up and like get pregnant with Nalani's child before Nalani dies because that seems to be the way things are going for Catherine. This has like been the most cursed challenge ever. All right, so they are woohooing. Oh, interesting. It feels like it's been forever since Catherine has been romantic with her partner. It could just be paranoia, it could be anxiety or a gut feeling, but Catherine can't help but wonder what her partner is up to or who they are seeing behind her back. I mean, are we talking about Haka'a? Catherine is not pregnant. Fear of being cheated on. Catherine needs to talk with her partner and soon. Otherwise, Catherine's relationship will continue to have problems unless she finds a way to deal with it. I mean, you are in a relationship with the ghost. So that could probably have something to do with why you're feeling uncertain in your relationship. All right, Catherine was not pregnant, so they're going to try again. Shockingly enough, Catherine has had a difficult time getting pregnant. That never happens. All right, come take a pregnancy test. Completely ignoring Catherine's other children. Okay, take a pregnancy test. Oh, I guess Nalani needed to use the bathroom. All right, so once Nalani is done peeing, we'll have Catherine come take a pregnancy test and see if she is pregnant. Apparently with everyone watching in the bathroom. Catherine is not pregnant. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try again. This is the third attempt at pregnancy. Catherine's literally been here all night woohooing Nalani <laughs> trying to get pregnant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's not pregnant again! Are you kidding me? And now Catherine is feeling sad because she failed to conceive. And she's really tired. Alright, why don't you... You can go to sleep. I guess we're going to sleep over at Nalani's house. I feel like this is kind of cheating a little bit because we're not actually caring for our children at the moment. They're okay. They're at daycare. <laughs> Catherine needs to get pregnant. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've tried like multiple times with Nalani. And no luck, Catherine has not gotten pregnant, so we're going to have to, like, put a pin in that and come back and get her home to, like, see what's going on with her kids. Because <laughs> she's kind of left them alone. I think the toddler's got a bunch of skills, which is probably a little bit cheaty, but it is what it is. All right, everyone is, is back home. Catherine really needs a shower, so she's going to go in and take a shower, and we'll take a look and see how everybody's doing with the toddlers. All right. Sierra needs to eat, and she just needs to max her imagination skill, and will be good to age her up. Odin is ready to age up, so as soon as Sierra is done, we can age up those twins. Trevor is not doing too poorly. He can come and play with Black since his thinking skill is up. And then Autumn is also doing okay. And we'll have Autumn come and interact with the Blarfy a little bit. And then maybe she can come and play on the slide. All right, woohoo attempts with Nalani have not been the most successful. So I'm kind of wondering if we should try it, see if we can get Paka'a here. See if we can try for a baby with Paka'a. Oh, oh no, we need to pay the bills. And we've had the power shut off. Oh my gosh. Catherine was so busy trying to get pregnant that she didn't even pay the bills. So that was not great. All right, here's here's Paka. So normally, like, cheating, I'm not down for. But considering what happened, I kind of want to make Catherine pregnant with Paka Ua. This was the plan through the whole thing. The romance and everything was going really well. Paka just died. So I think I'm going to do a pregnancy start on Catherine with Paka A. And we're just going to let it, like, randomly generate and get Catherine pregnant. They can still come and woohoo because, like, Catherine would definitely woohoo with a ghost. Uh, she's not particularly picky in that regard. Paka is apparently haunting things. 
Um, Paka, could you stop haunting this for a second so we can, like, woohoo? Please, thank you. I would appreciate that. We'll kind of start flirting with Paka. Okay, and then we're going to send Catherine to woohoo with Paka. Because, you know, Catherine is not above woohooing with a ghost to have a baby. Okay, and it looks like we got Sierra's imagination skill up. Oh, achievement. What would it be like? What would it be like? Woohoo with a ghost. All right, Catherine has woohooed with a ghost. And we'll have her come and, well, fix, replace the toilet and take a pregnancy test and see if she successfully ended up pregnant with Paka Oz's child. And Catherine is pregnant with ghost Paka Oz's child. Okay, not really, but like, this is, this is what we did. A little cheaty, yes. Do I care? No, not really. We do need to come though and make a cake because we need to age up Sierra and Odin. So come make a cake while they're doing their homework. I don't even know how is, Trevor needs to go potty. But he also needs Catherine to, like, potty train him. And Autumn is really, really hungry. But there should be food. Is there food in here? No, there's not food. Oh, dear. Okay, well, you know what? Even though this is, like, a really bad idea, we're gonna have her come and eat cake. I'm probably gonna regret this because giving toddlers cake is not necessarily a good thing but that's but it's better than having her be taken away we'll have brody come add birthday candles so that when catherine is done potty training trevor what are you upset about new fang pang oh trevor isn't just belly aching it really hurts oh because he's a werewolf and his teeth are coming in oh that's kind of cute actually aging up children help blow out candles for Sierra. And now Odin is really hungry. Oh, good grief. And then you need to, like, make food for people. This is... All of this attempt to, like, get Catherine pregnant has just turned into, like, chaos for everybody else. But we did it. Catherine is successfully pregnant. It was a little cheaty, but I was bound and determined. It counts. I'm telling you, it counts. Okay, Sierra has aged up. So we are, again, like we do, going to use a random number generator to determine her aspiration. So we'll randomize between one and four, and we got two, which is mental whiz kid. And then she is also going to be self-assured. All right, so that is Sierra. And then now we're going to age up Odin. And then they will get a quick makeover. All right, Odin has aged up. So again, we will use the random number generator to determine his childhood aspiration and we got a one for odin which is creativity so he'll be an artistic prodigy and a dog lover you're gonna have to wait to have a dog buddy because there are way too many kids in this house all right i want to give them a really quick makeover and get them kind of looking a little bit nicer all right, we finished making over sierra and odin so this is sierra as a child and then this is Odin, and they are ready to go. It looks like, though, they will not be going to school tomorrow, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, Catherine has come in to potty train Autumn. She's, like, having a hard time getting the toddlers potty trained. She's feeling really tense for neglecting herself. This is all far too much. Catherine isn't ready for a relationship. She wants to focus on other things. Being romantically involved takes up too much time and mental capacity from her single and loving it lifestyle. And I think that that's because Paka Aua is her partner and she didn't really want a partner, but the way this game is, if, you're, if someone asks your sim to like be their boyfriend or girlfriend you kind of have to accept otherwise it like completely ruins the relationship and since we were wanting to woohoo with Paka Aua uh, we were kind of stuck <laughs> but the good news is we got Autumn to potty level two Trevor is just like kind of being difficult he's not really being potty trained and Sierra is like having an awful time she's feeling like a fool and she hates it here. And now she's come up to Catherine and asking about the best void critter. She says, I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter 
is more powerful. I said it was Articorn, but he kept saying Sunator, which one is it? And so Catherine is going to say that they're both equally powerful because she's not going to really pick sides with that. And Trevor is up. He's had a nightmare. He's really stinky. Catherine is trying to like calm down Sierra, who's just like feeling really tense and kind of over the top at the moment. She's like not doing okay. She feels like people are laughing at her and hates it when things are smelly. It's probably her brother. All right. We're going to have Catherine come give Trevor a bath and maybe that will also help calm Sierra down who thinks it's really like stinky and gross. Okay, so good news is that Brody and Jen just got home from school and their grades have gone up so they are now B students. We're going to have them both get their homework done like right away and not mess around so that they can potentially go to school and age up into teenagers. When they go to school tomorrow. I'm gonna everybody doing their homework now while Catherine then comes and makes some dinner and potty train Trevor. Let's see if we can get both of these toddlers so that they can go to the bathroom on their own because Trevor has just been really difficult. He has not wanted to like go in and potty at all whenever Catherine has tried to take him in. He's just been super difficult and challenging. Autumn has been a lot better. Okay, good. P Trevor has reached potty level two. So now he can go potty on his own, which is really good because he really needed to learn that skill, like, really badly. <laughs> okay, and Trevor can now talk. He's reached communication level three. So he needs a work, a lot of work on his imagination. Movement and thinking are getting really close. Potty, obviously. Okay, Trevor has now reached thinking level three. Awesome. Okay, so let's have him come out and he can come and play with some dolls. Autumn is sleeping at the moment, but she needs imagination, potty, and thinking, and she'll be good to age up. Oh, Makoa has passed away. So Catherine's third set of twins, the baby donor was Makoa. So that was Ariana and Jonathan. They were our third set of twins and their father passed away, which is kind of sad. Ooh, Catherine has woken up in such a bad way. She's really uncomfortable. She really has to pee. She's having back pain from her pregnancy. She's craving rich food. She's grungy and she's hungry and she's sad because Makoa has passed away. Even though she was no longer in a relationship with Makoa, she definitely was, like, feeling bad about him passing because they got along really well with each other. All right, the children are off to school, which just leaves Catherine here alone with the last two set of twins. I guess we should probably check out neighborhood stories and see what actually happened to Makoa. Makoa botched a repair and was electrocuted, so Makoa died from electrocution. All right, Trevor reached level three of the movement skill, so he needs imagination and his potty. All right, the kids have come home from school. Odin, okay, so Jen and Brody are still B students. We're not quite there with teenagers just yet, but I'm hoping that when they go to school tomorrow, because tomorrow will be Friday, they will get A's. It looks like they will. They're in a good spot for that. The other two just started school, so they're still pretty early on as B students. And the last set of twins are coming along pretty well with their skills. I think, though, we're going to end this episode here. It might be a bit of a shorter episode because we were having such a difficult time getting Catherine pregnant again. That seems to be the thing. And yes, I did cheat a little bit and make Catherine pregnant by Paka'a, but I figure we did everything we were supposed to do as far as, like, developing the relationship that was there. Paka just died. So... It was a little cheaty, but I don't really care. I don't care. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. In the next episode, Catherine will have baby number 14, potentially a mermaid. After all of that, watch, this is not even going to be a mermaid child. That's going to be what's going to happen. I think we will have teenagers. I think our last set of twins that are toddlers, I think they'll get to be children in the next episode. So I think a lot of aging up is going to happen. I think we're going to have a birth. So I think a lot will happen in the next episode. This one was kind of a little bit more of a lull. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!